Okay, let's look at graphing the cotangent curve. Very, very similar to graphing a tangent curve. The formula is y equals a cotangent of bx plus c and then plus d on the outside. The a will come into account when we start graphing. Our period is the same, pi over b. Our phase shift is the same, negative c over b. Again, opposite of this inside divided by b. The outside number d will tell us a vertical shift. And then I like to write a little interval for the cotangent curve, a little bit different here. 0 is less than or equal to bx, less than or equal to pi. Let's look at a basic cotangent curve. Our period is pi. Again, pi over b, b being the number in front of x. There is no number, so it's understood to be 1. There is no phase shift in this problem, and there is no vertical shift. I'll start to write my interval to help me find my asymptote. So 0 is less than or equal to bx, and in this case, b was 1, less than or equal to pi. Since my x is solved for by itself, these are my first asymptotes. I'll write my asymptote equation. Again, same as the tangent. We're going to take our first asymptote, 0, plus or minus k times the period. Again, where k is an integer. So look at my graph here. I'll plot down my, well, draw down my asymptotes. We'll have one here at 0. Then we have one at pi. We have one at 2 pi, 3 pi. Every time we add or subtract the period, we get an asymptote. Okay, just like the tangent curve, it's going to cross in the middle. But halfway on the right-hand side for a cotangent curve, we go down 1. Again, we went down 1 because there's my number in front of cotangent 1. And halfway on the left-hand side, we're going to go up 1. Connect these dots, and here's my cotangent curve. Let's look at y equals negative 2 cotangent of x over 2 plus pi over 3. We have a negative in front, so it's going to be an opposite-looking graph. It's going to look very similar to a tangent graph. Okay, let's go through them all here. My period is 2 pi. Again, it's pi over b. b in this problem is 1 half. And my phase shift is negative 2 pi over 3. Again, it's opposite of pi over 3 divided by 1 half, and instead of dividing by 1 half, I multiply by 2, and this is how I get my phase shift. There is no vertical shift in this problem. Then I'll start to write down my interval to help me find the asymptotes. 0 is less than or equal to x over 2, less than or equal to pi. To get rid of that 2, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. And then i got to add the phase shift to it. So 0 plus a negative 2 pi over 3 is negative 2 pi over 3, and 2 pi plus a negative 2 pi over 3 is 4 pi over 3. These will tell me my first two asymptotes. I'm going to write down my asymptote equation, which again, I take my first asymptote and plus or minus k times the period, where k is an integer. I'm going to draw my asymptotes on my graph. And then I'll plot my points. We're going to cross in the middle. Now remember, this is a negative cotangent curve, so a negative cotangent curve halfway on the right-hand side is going to go up 2, because we have 2 in the front. And then halfway on the left-hand side, we're going to go down 2. Connect my dots. And there's my curve. Let's look at one more example here y equals 1 fourth cotangent of 3x minus pi minus 2. The minus 2 on the outside is the vertical shift. Let's look at everything. Our period is pi over 3. Remember, it's pi over b. Our phase shift is opposite of this inside, so that's pi divided by b, so that's pi over 3 also. Vertical shift is the number on the outside, so it's going to shift down 2. Then I start to write my asymptotes. 0 is less than or equal to 3x, less than or equal to pi. i got to get rid of that 3, so I'm going to divide everything by 3. Then i got to add the phase shift to the problem. So I get my first two asymptotes at pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So I'll write down my asymptote equation. Take the first part, pi over 3, plus or minus k times the period, where k is an integer. 
And I'll draw my asymptotes here. Now we're going to have a positive cotangent curve. So again, we're going to cross in the middle here. And remember, our middle now is shifted down two spots. Okay, since it's a cotangent curve, we're going to go down one-fourth. Again, because one-fourth is on the outside. So on the right-hand side, we go down one-fourth. On the left-hand side, we go up one-fourth from our cross. We connect them, and there's our cotangent curve that's shifted down two.